Welcome back to our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions, whole lesson number 11, Solving Exponential Equations Using Logs, Homework Review, Part 3. Make sure to catch Parts 1 and 2, and as always, if you find these videos helpful, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. All right, number 7, a radioactive substance is decaying such that 2% of its mass is lost every year. Originally, there were 50 kilograms of the substance present. Write an equation for the amount A of the substance left after T years. So every year we're losing 2%. So this would look like A of T, and originally 50 kilograms, so that's A sub 0. Really, we start off with this, and 1 plus R to T, except R, R is going to be negative. So we'll have A of T is equal to 50 kilograms, 1 plus negative 0 0.02 raised to t power, which will look like a of t is equal to 50 times 0.98 to the t power. And that will be the function we're going to use. Now, part b, find the amount of time it takes for, on, for only half initial amount to remain. So here, we're going to go, if we're starting off with 50, we end up with 25. So 25 equals 50 times 1.98 raised to t power. And we're rounding our answer to the nearest tenth of a year. So first thing we do, again, it's a lot. We use logs. We divide both sides by 50. And so we're going to get, in this case, 1 half is equal to 0.98 to the t power. From here, we'll take the log of both sides. So now we have log of 1 half equals the log of 0.98 raised to t. We'll use our power rule to bring the exponent down like we've been using before. And we get log of t, log of 1 half actually, equals t times the log of 0.98. We'll divide both sides by the log of 0.98 to be able to get our t value. Oops. Oops. Sorry about that. That should be the log of 0 0.98. 0 0.98. So divide both sides by this. And these are real numbers. Log of 1 half and log of 0.98. They are, these are real numbers. And so let's take a look here. So we have log of 1 half. Log of... 1 divided by 2, and divide by the log of 0.98. And we get 34.3096. And we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so that will be, in this case, t is going to be 34 points, I believe, 34.3, 34.3 years. And that's how long it's going to take if this if, it, if we are degrading by 2% every year, it'll take about 34.3 years for half the substance to be left over. Okay. If a population doubles every five years, how many years will it take for the population to increase by 10 times to increase by 10 times the original amount? First, if the population gets multiplied by two every five years, what does it get multiplied each year? Use this to help you answer the question. Okay, so if it doubles every five years, right? Doubling, 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 two times four times eight, 10 by itself is not be part of it though. So what we have is something in this case, this doubling situation would be A of T equals A sub zero. Now here, because we're doubling, doubles every five years. So our base is going to be two. Okay? And it doubles every five years. We're going to use our exponent of t over five. It's uh, similar to what we use in this case for half-life or doubling. The denominator is going to tell us how often it basically gets to that situation of doubling. Uh, so t over 5 will be our exponent in this case. And so 
if we want to be to be uh, figure out um, how long it takes to increase to ten times the original size, well, we'll use this formula here. And so let's let a of zero equal to one. Therefore, a of t will equal to ten times that, or ten. So we set up our equation here to get ten is equal to one times two raise a t over 5 power. And you don't need to divide both sides by 1. We still can get 10. So we end up getting 10 equals still to the t over 5 power. Again, it doubles every 5 years. right? So 5 years, if t was 5, we double once. If t was 10, we double, we double twice, we have 4 times. But to get 10 times, it does, 10 is not a multiple of 2, we have to use logs. So we take the log of 10 is equal to the log of 2 to the t over 5 power. Now it doesn't matter if we have the exponent to be t over 5, we're going to still use our power rule to bring the exponent down. And we see in this case, we're going to get the log of 10 is equal to t over 5 log of 2. So the next thing we do is divide both sides by log 2. So that means t over 5 is equal to log 10 divided by log 2. We don't want t over 5, we want 5 by itself. And so since the 5 is dividing t, we're going to do the opposite operation and multiply both sides by 5. So we can get t. Therefore, we are going to get t is equal to 5 times log 10 divided by log 2. So we're going to use our calculator here and type in 5 times log 10, close parenthesis, divided by log 2, close parenthesis. And we see we get 16.6096 in this case. 16.61. Now, that means in this case, we're probably going to be, it says uh, how many years, round, and we're rounding to, it doesn't say to round off, 16 points. So I guess in this case, we'll probably just round to nearest, nearest 100, 16.6, uh, 16 I guess, nearest 10th, actually. It would be nearest, nearest 10th. So t equals 16.6 years. If it was nearest 100, I go 16.61. If it was nearest year, I do 17 years. Okay? I guess all these questions are very similar. The only difficult part of this was to figure out what our equation would look like. And since we're doubling the basis 2, and the exponent would be t over 5, because it doubles every 5 years. Whenever you told you, like, even the half-life, the half-life is going to be the denominator in this case. Doubling life will be also the denominator as well. Okay. Number 9. Find solution to the general exponential equation a times b the cx equals d in term of the constants a, c, d, and the logarithm base b. Think about reversing the order operations in order to solve for x. Okay, so, so we have a times base b raised to cx equals d. And we're looking for x, x is going to be in the exponent, our variable is exponent, we're definitely using logs. But we want to isolate the base by itself. So we'll divide both sides by a. So now we're going to get, in this case, b raised to cx equals d over a. And again, any time we have the variable as an exponent, we're going to take the log of both sides. So now we take the log of b raised to cx equals the log of d over a. Again, the power rule, very powerful rule here, brings our brings our exponent down. So now we have c times x 
times the log of b equals the log of d over a. Okay, we'll divide both sides by, well, since we get x by itself, we can kind of combine a couple things. We're going to definitely divide by the log base b, but also by c. So we're going to divide both sides by c log base b. Divide by c log base b. And so we get x equal to log of d over a divided by c log base b. Now, the interesting part about this is that we can probably expand some of these things and, you know, put these, these things, put some pieces together because we can use the reverse. First off, we can use a reverse uh, power rule to bring the c back as an exponent. Not only that, we see here that we've got log of d over a. This can be written as the difference of two logs. So we go even further and say x is equal to the log of d minus the log of a all over the log of b raised to c power. And this is your final answer in terms of log of b, log of, a, log, of, log of d, log of b, d, log of d, log of a, and b, the c power. You could, again, this is okay too. I would, I would definitely say in this case that you could give this as an answer. This could be appearing as answer. x equals log of d over a, all divided by c log b. But sometimes in this case, you want to make more, I guess, we'll stretch everything out, I'll put them into single logs in this case. This works out fine as well. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the last question we have for a home review for our algebra 2 exponential functions, lesson number 11, solving exponential equations using logs home review. I hope you found this helpful and hopefully enjoyable because sometimes logs can be a little bit tricky, but at some point when you're trying to solve equations using logs, they become pretty much the same steps over and over again. So I hope this was helpful to you and definitely solving these problems. If you found them helpful, please give a like and uh, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, as well as subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to turn on notifications to alert when new videos are added. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and be safe.